the lyric that sparked my singular idea for this song that we ended up following through with. Um, I didn't have any idea that's what he was saying. The blue glow in the nightwear, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. I instantly just had a, like a vision of what I would have wanted those pictures to look like based on that lyric alone. And honestly, taking that at face value, I'm fine with the fact that that's what we did. To both of us, it was more of a bright song. Um, it it didn't really fall into the dark patterns like the other ones did. To me, it was a very cocky song. It was very much like, I'm the shit, like, people are coming back for more. That was very hard for me to express through expressions and body language, so we ended up just having to kind of like do it based on the settings that we were in and just, we bullshitted it. Church was one of the ones that we had difficulties trying to decide what to do with, mainly because it's a very inherently sexual song. I don't know what in it sparked this idea. Based on how revengeful the lyrics seem, to me, Church was kind of like one of those, I'm gonna make you pay for what you did songs. I just had this idea of just looking like a badass and essentially make the person regret whatever it was they did to you. I thought this one was going to be easier than it was because these lyrics come across to me as very vivid and again very visual so like a lot comes to mind and I can you know see a lot in my head that would work with this but um, portraying it is another thing I think it was tricky to be able to do that given the constraints that we had it we kept it simple for this one and I liked it like I do very much like the fact that really we just kind of like kept it to what we could portray with color and facial expression. Triggered was the song that I was most excited about because from the probably first three times I heard it, I had this concept in my head. I listened to it as if those are words I wrote that they're singing back to me. So it's a very kind of self-deprecating song to me. Who are you trying to call it's a quarter past four? Can't nobody hear you screams right now. Like, especially that. Trying to portray that photo-wise was very difficult for me because Sierra's got the photo brain. We discussed this. She has the photo brain. I have the video brain where I can see the visions. I can see things moving in slow motion. I can see people running down the street in the rain to a song. I just see it like a movie essentially and she's able to kind of zone in on this is how a still should look this is how you should be posed this is you know how the lighting should be this was one that we definitely had to meet in the middle with I, I never want to hear this song again after the other day. This one 
we I think had the most concrete idea for. I like this one. I always like doing the milk bath thing. I think it's sick because like unlike any other sort of bath shoot because I have done a few other than this like when you do that everything underneath just vanishes and I think it's like the creepiest coolest thing. Um, so I think it does really speak a lot to what this song is about and I'm very happy with what we did. I struggled with thinking through a lot of these, but this one came to me pretty instantaneously. Standing in the middle of the road, you know, living life in the fast lane. <laughs> Might get hit by a car, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's good. I'm glad that the single idea I've ever had in my life ended up working out. It's a very fuck it song to me. So like, why, what's the point in stopping what I'm doing now? There's no point in it. Like I'm already way past gone. Um, and there was something very enticing to me about that. And I tried so hard to figure out how we could express that through body language and through facial expressions. And again, the surroundings around us, um, but we made do, and Sierra came through with uh, the idea for that, so thank God, because it was not happening in here. Tell me if I could come down And waste them now Waste them now Comparing doing this Chase Atlantic shoot to our Paris shoot last summer, I I was excited. Like this was without a doubt more of a challenge in every way. We had less songs, so that was good, but also the songs we had to dig deeper because a lot of them we couldn't necessarily or did not want to take them at face value. Anytime I do get to like go past the surface and kind of have to try a little harder to work for a project and like come up with a concept, it's like it's fun. Even though there were far more songs with the Paris concept shoot, uh, those songs are already very visually represented through how they write their music. Uh, so everything that we ended up creating from from that music was stemmed by the lyrics. And with these songs, there were far fewer that we had to do. But again, like I said, we had to make sure we didn't take them at face value. I'm definitely happy with the end product and God only knows what other concepts we'll end up coming up with for video and photo, but uh, I'd say we did pretty well for coming up with it and then shooting for two days and then that's it.